I have absolutely no hope for the next generation. So I'm sure if anybody's on social media, you don't have to be an avid social media watcher and consumer to have seen this content, no matter where you're watching it at. Because this was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen come out of a college. And I've seen a lot of videos of craziness coming out of college. But these degrees are in Insane. Hi, my name's Nikki. I'm studying Latin American women and visual culture. Yeah. How is this even legal? Like, how are colleges allowed to do this to kids? I am so confused. Where are your parents at? Hi, I'm Melanie. I'm studying the unseen body and creative spaces of erasure and exposure of the queer. Yeah. What? What did she even say? What were the words that just came out of her mouth? I don't even know what this woman said. Hi, I'm Yvonne, and I study monstrosity the subaltern praxis or should i say i created it <laughs> yeah! Wait, she just made that up? She just created her own degree? So a little backstory about me. I went to college for like a year until I realized it was pointless. The one thing I definitely gained from it was a background in like film photography, like knowing how to do like manual photography, which I love. I realized I really like psychology. I like understanding the human mind. But other than that, it was pointless. Like I was told to go to college just at least to get general studies because you need a degree. And now almost to what, 10, maybe 20 years later, I'm like, I wonder what the this degree will get me now <laughs> absolutely nowhere and so the fact that i see kids coming out of a new york university yikes and they have these wild degrees with their focuses on and their minors and majors in i'm like some places need to get sued like some parents really need to fight back like if i had a kid and they just so happened to want to go to college for some reason and i ended up putting them in college telling them to follow your dreams and do what you want to do and then they come back and tell me this this is what they majored in? I'm Joyce, I study decolonial intimacies, indigenous politics of resistance. I'm Victoria and I study remembering or forgetting, uh, navigating international conflict through collective memory. I would punch them right in the face because there ain't no fucking way we just spent all this money for you to have some bullshit made up, I wanna save the world nonsense degree when you know damn well after that you're gonna be working at a coffee shop or at a restaurant for the rest of your life. Nothing against working at coffee shops or restaurants. The point is, you don't need a degree to work in those places. It's kind of funny too because you're wa like I'm watching this, and of course I'm seeing it, and I'm just laughing because it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. And of course it's a bunch of women. The bunch of women. There were a couple of guys in this too, but there were a bunch of women. The majority minorities, and they're out here doing bullshit. Hi, I'm Nunyala. I'm studying living artfully, art as ritual therapy, and pathway to decoloniality. Yeah! You know these are going to be the same women later on that are going to be mad that they can't get the man that they want or they're not going to they can't get the jobs that they want. Why aren't they making the amount of money that they have? I have this major degree in learning the color green and having people love themselves. Like what? You can just be a yoga teacher at that point. I'm Naomi and I'm studying black political economy. It annoyed me so much that I had to, f I, I, mean, I, I knew that I wasn't the only one that was getting annoyed from watching this. The reactions from other people also made it funny too, because it's like, obviously no one's taking this seriously, even though we know that these kids actually have these physical degrees that state that they actually went to school to study the said thing that they were talking about. I'm Lyle and I'm studying the debunking of the myth of the Holocaust through the collective interpretive experience of the proletariat indigenous bisexual women of the wall. And I'm minoring in the early works of Sydney Sweeney. Yeah! It just kind of sucks. I mean, I remember when I decided to go down the artistic route, I was talking to some women. This was years ago, too. In this little group of black women that were in the arts. And they wanted me to speak to a group of young girls around the time. Like, I think they were, like, around the age, like, 10 to, like, 13 years old. And they wanted me to give them advice on how to do the things that you want to do in life, a.k.a. either furthering your education, doing stuff in arts. And I was telling them, I would never push the idea of going to college on anybody. College isn't for everyone. And that was my point. College isn't for everyone. There are certain things that college is good for, but you don't need to go to college to be successful. And the ladies in charge hated that I said that. Did not like it at all. And so in my mind, I'm thinking that I said something wrong, even though realistically, I believe that wholeheartedly. College is not for everyone. You don't need to go to college immediately after going to school 
because it's not necessary, especially depending on what you plan on doing with your life. Like if you wanted to be a doctor, okay, totally different. Please go to college. I don't want my doctor to tell me, oh, they learned from the YouTube university and they just read a few books in a library in Barnes and Noble. Like you need to go to college for that. But like, if you want to be something in art, like in my, 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 my thing was always the arts. And I always believed you never need to go to school to do things in the arts, depending on the avenue that you want to take. Now with me, I went to college for photography, but I was ultimately a filmmaker. You don't need to go to college to be a filmmaker, just like you don't need to go to college to be a photographer. What you need to do is learn the camera that you're with, like that you have, take a bunch of pictures, which are all going to be ugly at first, and until you figure out how to operate that camera to work it best for you. And then you go, you don't pay to go to a college to learn an art skill. So when I'm looking and listening to all these women say what they say, they all just sound like they should have just took some yoga classes and got a certificate because there's no way some girl said and i studied i'm a woman woman, fugitive family relationships and identity the transformative black woman i was like bitch if you don't shut the fuck up it's hard to take people seriously when they are so in denial of the problems that they're creating for themselves like it's hard to feel bad for people that make decisions and not think about the ultimate outcome that it's going to do to them in the future people always want this instant gratification as if they want to like save the world and do the best that they can while making all the wrong decisions that are going to cause a lot of problems in the future they just can't see the forest past the trees or the trees past how whatever that saying is people don't they only see what they see right in front of them and don't understand that that decision that you just made is going to cause you a lot more heartache in the future because it don't make no goddamn sense and whoever you've been listening to is trying to fuck you and you might want to listen to people that you may not like to hear but they might be trying to help you because they're probably trying to help you and save your life for the most part like my high school friends they all went to school for medicine so going to school made sense for them then i have friends that went to college all four years got their degree and they work as servers don't get me wrong you could be on the path of thinking you want to do something and then all of a sudden change your mind down the line because you realize this wasn't for you that's understandable it's even harder to see videos like this and not think that obviously you're going to go down a different route because that degree that you got was bullshit it's just i just look and laugh you got to believe either these kids are on scholarships or they're just filthy rich for no goddamn reason they were just like you know what i don't really need to go to college but if i'm gonna go to college i'm gonna just study some nonsense you want to know why because who the fuck cares my name is marie and my concentration is the radical disruption for survival development in sub-saharan africa and social anthropology you got to believe that someone is paying money to get those kids degrees to be future baristas. It don't make no sense. I decided to go a totally different route. I decided to go down the filmmaker YouTube route. You don't need to go to college to be a YouTuber. And despite the fact that when gamers started to come on the scene and people started to realize, oh, gaming is a big thing. Everybody wants to be a gamer. All of a sudden you start seeing colleges promoting gaming courses. It's like, that's not how that works. You're trying to bamboozle kids to have them think that they need to spend a lot of money to do a thing when they can just buy the gaming system, buy the games, and just put the hours in. That's all that is. Those kids that are successful now in gaming did not go to school for it. You had people that were shit talking them. Like, you're wasting your w- wasting away playing these games. Well, 13-year-old American... Willis Gibson, he beat the original Nintendo version of the game by reaching such a high level that the coding froze. As a mother, I would just say step away from the screen, go outside, get some fresh air. Beating Tetris is not a life goal. Speaking of fresh air, let's get a look at the weather. They're being known in the gaming world. It's just, it don't make no sense. A lot of the times when I'm listening to these kids, especially, like, especially gender studies, like, like honestly, what the fuck does that even mean? I'm Natalie and I'm studying fashion history and gender studies. Yeah! What does, um, can someone explain to me what gender studies mean? It just feels like someone just was like, yo, you want to understand women and men? I got a degree for you. <laughs> that literally is a YouTube, that's a YouTube search. What is a woman and a man? Boom, you just saved yourself fifty, eighty thousand dollars. I'm just so annoyed when I hear people saying that they go into school for gender studies. It really pisses me off. What's a nice way to say this? We have led kids down a path where we are telling them that they can be and do whatever they want, which is not 
false. We're not navigating them in the right way to do things smart. We're allowing them to accumulate debt to achieve these big goals that are going to ultimately cause them to be really upset later on and feel like someone lied to them, which someone did. But like, we're not letting them know that. We're letting them believe that, oh no, this decision that you made is great and it's going to pay off in the end. Not realizing that the world is not necessarily getting better and your bad decisions isn't going to make it better either. <laughs> like the world isn't getting better, but you can make your life situation better by making smarter decisions. I didn't expect this video to be long, but the thing I definitely wanted to understand is that who is allowing these kids to get these types of degree? Like, why is this a degree? You know what a degree is to me? Business administration, some medicine-esque, a lawyer, like a degree in law, you know, things that are actually going to be beneficial. Like the more you work, graduate from college and get that job, the more income you're going to get. So you will eventually be able to pay off that debt. I have friends that are doctors that are still paying off their debt now because the debt was extremely high. But what I'm saying is that if a doctor who's an active and working doctor is struggling and finding it difficult to pay off their debt what do you think some kids majoring in self-care with a minor in grass growing is going to be feeling i mean i'm just saying like you literally just put yourself through college just to be making coffee with that being said let me know what you guys think in the comments below what do you guys think about the idea of going to college again i'm not against it I don't promote it, but let me know what you guys think, because I'm sure with the amount of people that watch my channel, I got a lot of different opinions coming my way, so I'd be very intrigued to read what you guys think. Also, if you guys do not know, I have a podcast. I am traveling to the U.S., but I have honestly staying in Florida a little longer than I expected, but I think my next place is Texas. I think my next place is going to be Texas. Like, as far as staying for like three to six months, I think I'm going to do Texas. I'll explain to you why. There's some people I want to meet out there, which I don't know if I would be able to, but you know, I'm I'm speaking out in the universe. So let's see. Texas is the next place for me and we'll see what happens. With that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're always notified about the new videos that I have coming out. I love the fact that you guys are enjoying my content. I saw a nice little increase in subscribers from the last video and I really am genuinely happy that I'm getting people to understand that not every black woman out here is thinking the same way as everybody else. There are some of us that are independent thinkers. Thinkers. And if you guys are independent thinkers and love that, you know what to do. And I'll see you all in the next video.